Hello everybody, today I'll be talking about sunspots and solar flares. First, what are sunspots? Sunspots are dark black spots that are cooler than its surrounding, and it also represents where the magnetic field is coming out from. Sunspots are 3800 degrees Kelvin. They are nearly 2000 degrees Kelvin less than the rest of the sun. Now, the reason why they are black is because of the great difference in, in temperature between the sunspot and the surface of the sun. Sunspots range from 2,500 to 50,000 kilometers in diameter. Now keep in mind that the earth is 12,742 kilometers in diameter. So you can imagine how big the sunspots are compared to earth. Now what are solar flares? Solar flares according to Dr. James Webb is a magnetic storm on the surface of the sun. Now, solar flares occur due to the explosion of sunspots. Solar flares are enormous, but how enormous are they really? Here's, here's a video to put in perspective of Earth compared to a solar flare. So how do these enormous flares form? Well, scientists still don't know for certain how the solar flares are formed, but there have been a couple of theories. Some scientists believe that sudden release of stored magnetic energy by the sun can cause solar flares. But unfortunately, there's not enough information on how magnetic fields operate on the sun's surface. Therefore, this theory is still under investigation. Another theory includes the interaction between particles and plasma. Some scientists believe that solar flares are created when accelerated electrons and other charged particles interact with plasma on the sun. Other theories include the interaction between opposite magnetic fields. And finally, some scientists believe that it's about the planetary alignment. Scientists believe that solar flares are directly connected to the planetary alignment. They believe that once the planets lose alignment, the sun's activities return to normal. But nevertheless, all these are just theories. According to the article The Secret Lives of Solar Flares, the first person to discover solar flares is a man named Richard Carrington from England on the 1st of September in 1859. Ever since then, astronomers have been recording thousands of strong flares using instruments ranging from the simplest telescope in backyard observatories to the most complex spectrometers on advanced spacecraft. Possibly no other phenomenon in astronomy has been studied as much, and yet there is still much, much more information to be learned about these solar flares. Solar flares are classified according to their strength, B being the smallest, then C, M, and then X being the, the strongest. Now each letter shows a tenfold increase in the energy's output. So X is ten times an M, and a hundred times a C. Within each letter there's a scale from 1 to 9. Now, solar flares do have an effect on the Earth's power, grid and communication. Although we are protected by Earth's magnetic field, some of the energized particles eventually get through. Now the effects depend on the classification of the solar flare. X-flares would cause strong radio blackouts, would have long-lasting solar radiation storms, which uh, northern lights or sometimes called aurora. This class flares also cause brief electricity blackouts. M class flares can cause small to moderate radio blackouts and can sometimes cause small radiation storms. C, A and B class flares have almost no effect on Earth. Current monitoring programs. There is currently a program by NASA called the SDO. SDO stands for the Solar Dynamics Observ Observatory. Now, this is the first mission to be launched for NASA's Living with a Star program, a program designed to understand the causes of solar va variability and its impacts on Earth. Now, SDO was first launched on February 11, 2010. Its goal is to understand how the sun's magnetic field is generated and structured and how the stored magnetic energy is converted and released. I hope you have enjoyed this current presentation on sunspots and solar flares.